Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what should you know about your person? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what should Gemini know about their person, please. Whoever it is that Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love. What should Gemini know about their person, Gemini? All right, Gemini, first card we have here is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. We also have here the Wheel of Fortune. And we have here the Page of Cups. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, give me a second here. Hmm. I'm definitely getting like trust issues here. Death in reverse. I'm going to have to clarify this. I don't want to say something just to say something. Like I want to make sure that I know what I'm saying. So let me just give a quick clarification here to the Queen of Wands. Spirit, clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse, please. I don't want to speak just to speak. Queen of Wands in reverse. So we do have the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah. So this person's not really sure about you. They're not sure about you. They're nervous about taking a step forward towards you or towards this relationship with you. They're holding themselves back. They're preventing themselves from um, fully going there with you. They're blocking themselves. What's going on with this um, Page of Cups spirit, please? Clarify the Page of Cups. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Okay. So this person here is um, conflicted about walking away from this relationship. Um, they don't feel like the relationship is progressing with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They don't feel like um, things are growing between the two of you. Yeah, I'm gonna let me divide these people because I feel like there's two people here and I don't wanna get confused here. So let's go with this. This is one person and this is another person here. I feel like this is your energy, Gemini, so I'm just going to go with it. Uh, I do feel like your energy is showing up here, and I feel like their energy is showing up. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to address both of you. So the relationship is not really moving forward here with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. It's interesting because I feel like it was intended to. I feel like this relationship was intended to move forward. It was supposed to move forward. Um, but looking at you, Gemini, I feel like this is whoever you're dealing with. I feel like this is someone who you do um, feel a very strong connection to. This is someone who deep down inside 
you see the potential between you and them and you feel attracted to them, you feel drawn to them, you feel an emotional connection with them. Um, a part of you can definitely visualize yourself um, having a relationship with this person. But with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, for some reason there is an energy of you um, being very hesitant to trust this person and to allow this person in and to be um, receptive to this person, to be receptive to this relationship. You're very hesitant. And I want to know why, so let's go ahead and look at that. All right, Spirit, um, connecting to Gemini's energy here with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Please clarify this energy here. Tell me about the Nine of Wands to the Eight of Swords. Hmm. All right, so we do have the Three of Swords showing up here. Now, this could be... This person could be a past person, someone who you already know, or they could also just be a new person. Um, so, you know, I don't know what your situation is. So um, you can just fill in the blanks for yourself or adjust, adjust the story how it fits to you. But with the Three of Swords, this is the energy of you holding on to some sort of heartbreak that you experience. Um, I don't know, for some of you, you experience this heartbreak with this person because this is someone from your past that you already know. Or if this is a new person, then you're holding on to a heartbreak that somebody else caused you um, in the past. And there's an energy of you, you know, feeling terrified of going through that all over again, of experience the experiencing this disappointment and this heartbreak all over again um so even though you do really feel you do really like this person or you really feel a strong connection with them and a part of you can see yourself um being with them you're not allowing yourself to go there and it's because of this it's because of this past emotional kind of baggage that you're carrying i guess you can say I mean, if this is a new person, then this is like emotional baggage that you're carrying into this new relationship, you know. Um, but if this is a past person, then, you know, you, you haven't forgotten um, what you went through when you were last with this person. Um, you're still carrying that. Yeah, you're still carrying that um, heartbreak or disappointment in, in your energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's interesting that we have the Wheel of Fortune, though. So let me just clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, Sir, please. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here showing up in Gemini's reading? All right, so we do have the Tower card here. Okay. We also have the Ten of Swords. Oh, boy. Hard. And, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Mm, no, I don't think this is. Uh, Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles and the Fool card at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Gemini, I feel like I'm, I feel like I want to go to the to new. I feel like I'm gravitating towards this being a new person for you. Now, for some of you, you're currently dealing with a new person, and for others of you, you're not de currently dealing with a new person, but you're going to be um, dealing with a new person in the near future. This feels like some sort of like a uh, warning, Gemini, um, to not sabotage a new relationship because of what somebody else did to you in the past. 
yeah, don't don't close off. Don't close yourself off with the full card, nine of pentacles, six of wands. This can be an energy of you closing yourself off and deciding to just focus on yourself and focus on your goals and your work, your career, your finances. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you take it to the extreme, that's when it that's when it becomes bad. So it kind of looks like the universe wants to like tell you don't take it to the extreme. Don't take it to the extreme. Um and don't don't put your healing in the back burner with the Queen of Cups, 10 of Swords and the Tower card. Um it does look like you went through a very very um painful experience um, with someone who you dealt with in the past um, it was very painful with the queen of cups you know it was very heartbreaking very devastating for you um, so i feel like the universe wants to tell you that you haven't healed from this yet or i feel like the universe wants to bring it to your attention that you haven't fully healed from this past experience um, because you might be trying to like escape from it or avoid thinking about it like I feel like you're in this energy of just trying to like hyper focus on yourself and hyper focus on your goals so that you don't have to like sit with your feelings but it kind of looks like it's necessary for you to sit with your feelings because you know you haven't fully healed from that and i do feel like this new relationship is going to suffer the consequences of you not healing from your past heartbreak and i feel like the universe doesn't want that to happen with the wheel of fortune in reverse um, and that's not to say that this person is the one for you because I'm actually not getting that I mean they're showing up as a page you know so a page of cups so, I mean I don't think this is the one for you to be honest with you so it's not to say that this is the one for you but it would be a, a step in the right direction if you were to engage in this new relationship you know doesn't mean that you have to get with them but at least be open to it and be receptive to like getting to know someone new and like you know forming a forming a an emotional connection with someone new and You know, just allowing yourself to, to love again, basically. Or to, or to have feelings for someone. To form a friendship with someone, you know? This doesn't have to turn into something romantic. It can just turn into a friendship. Um, and it would be a very beneficial friendship for you. It would, it would be a friendship that would bring a lot of good into your life. So I feel like the universe wants, to, wants you to let this person in, you know, even if it isn't the one for you. But that's not the point, you know. It's like the point is that you are opening yourself up. I feel like that's the whole point of this, for you to open yourself up to, to allow yourself to to be vulnerable with somebody else, with someone new. Cause, because it kind of looks like you're, um, you're keeping everything to yourself, you know? You're keeping all of your emotions bottled up inside of you and you're not sharing it with anyone. You're not talking to anyone about it, you know? And I feel like that's something that can make the healing process even more difficult for you if you're not sharing with someone 
or you know you're not confiding in anyone you're not like you're not speaking about it and Gemini is a sign of communication so I feel like communication is very important for a Gemini and communication can be something that really helps you and heals you if that makes sense Okay, okay, so going back to this person here, because yeah, because I feel like this person is trying to form a connection with you or form a relationship with you, um, but they're not getting any feedback from you or they're not... Um, I feel like they're getting a lot of silence from you with the Four of Swords. This is what I'm getting. They're getting a lot of silence from you. And it does have this person feeling um, troubled and conflicted. I want to take a look at that. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Wands, please. I feel like this reading was like a self-help reading or something like that. Self-help reading. Okay, tell me about the five of wands. All right, so we have the two of cups. We also have the ten of wands. And well, what do you know? The wheel of fortune is here. Okay. So this person feels like a little bit defeated with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands because they are trying to, like I said, they're trying to get this relationship off the ground with you. With the Wheel of Fortune, it kind of looks like this person does have very good intentions with you. Like um, this person wants to um, have a genuine um, emotional bond with you. And, you know, form a genuine relationship with you. But because you're kind of giving them a lot of silence, you're not really reciprocating their energy back to back to them. Um, there is an energy of them wondering if they should just walk away. Okay, but then what's supposed to happen here? Because I don't, I don't understand. All right, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe we can see what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen here, Spirit, with the Wheel of Fortune? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. What's supposed to happen between Gemini and this person? So we do have the Knight of Wands energy. We have the Nine of Cups. Oh, and we have the King of Cups. Okay. So, I see. Mm, okay. Interesting. Is this person showing up as the king of cups and you showed up over here as the queen of cups? So, this relationship actually does have a lot of potential to grow and to... Um, become a very strong um, and stable relationship um you know i feel like if you open yourself up to this person like you and this person are going to develop a lot of feelings for each other but again i i don't f okay but again i feel like um i'm, I'm still getting that you don't necessarily have to end up with this person. I feel like it's just about you getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of your shell, um, and you know, giving, giving this relationship a, a chance. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like it is going to help you. It's going to support you. It's going to bring a lot of good into your life. You're going to bring a lot of good into their life as well, whether you realize it or not. So... 
but I feel like this person is going to reach a point where they're going to feel really defeated and frustrated because you're, again, you're not being receptive to them. You're not really talking to them. You're kind of shutting them out. So um, I feel, what's the advice, spirit? What is it? What's the advice in this whole situation here? What should Gemini do? Knight of Wands to the Ten of Cups to the Nine of Swords. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Nine of Cups to the Five of Wands to the, um, I was going to say the Gemini card, uh, the Lovers. Lovers is the card of Gemini. I was going to say Gem the Gemini card. <laughs> Okay, so the advice, all right. You know, I feel like the advice in this relationship is to communicate with this person. Um, don't shut them out. Don't shut them out. Don't abandon this relationship. Don't, you know, ignore the relationship or anything like that because I do feel like, like I said, it is, going to, it is something beneficial for you. Um, I, but I am getting that the advice would be more so like communicate with this person and let them know that you're not necessarily ready for um, a serious relationship right now because you are still going through a healing process and, you know, you still need you, you still want to focus on yourself. You know, just be honest with this person and. Um, And I feel like this person is going to be very understanding with you. And if you don't feel like you're ready for any type of a romantic relationship, then I feel like let this person know. Um, and just see how this person responds to you, because I feel like this person is going to respond in a positive way. Um, you know, let, the, let this person know that there's no guarantee also. You know... Uh, let this person know that, you know, you're not really sure about how you feel right now about them or about this relationship with them. Um, you just feel like you need more time or you just feel like you need to focus on yourself. Or if you don't really want to have a romantic relationship with them, then just let them know, like, listen, I just want to be friends. Nothing more, nothing less. So yeah, I feel like the advice is to communicate with the with this person, um, not to turn away from it or abandon it, is what I'm getting. Okay, so Gemini, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.